Now, global weather experts have given strong indications that the El Nino phenomenon is likely to hit hard across East Africa with devastating consequences for the region's farmers. Weatherman says that the condition could run into the early part of next year. To cushion against the loss of lives and destruction of property, a coordinated regional approach is underway to minimize the effects of the El Nino. Eugene Anangwe, our reporter in Rwanda, looks at the country's preparations for possible impact of the above normal rains. Just like in other parts of the region, Rwanda's weatherman has also forecasted El Nino rains, which is expected during this month, running through to December. The whole country will have enough rainfall, and uh, we pointed out those areas which will have no more to above no more rains. Those are areas of northern province, uh, part of the central, going to the east, uh, then Western province, southwestern province, those are areas which we are expecting normal to above normal rains. El Nino is normally associated with warming within global oceans, more especially in equatorial Pacific. A situation, according to Anthony, has been ongoing since July this year. Rwanda has in the past experienced heavy downpours, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. Homes, schools, and other commercial buildings have been destroyed in the process. This is a scenario that officials say is likely to happen in the event of above normal rains. But with the warning having come early, officials at the meteorological department say there is no cause for worry. There is no cause for alarm because we have given them the information uh, very early and they have embarked on preparations and we we think in case if it comes people are aware people are prepared and the, the interventions will be done in time the country last experienced the el nino phenomenon between 1997 and 1998 the aftermath was disastrous and officials at the ministry of disaster management and refugee affairs say everything possible has been done to avoid a repeat of the same we have to consider that the, the risk now is lower than one we had in 1997 because uh, the vulnerability in general even a bit has been has been uh, decreasing in different institutions we have identified the element at risk and now we, we work in a task force that is a task force to manage their nino combining different uh, technicians from different institutions and we meet every friday to make sure uh, or to, to, to monitor the implementation, the progress of what we have designed as a plan. The weathermen and officials right here in Rwanda are saying that there is no cause for alarm when it comes to matters of above normal rains. And in fact, if El Nino was a person, all they would tell it is bring it on. Whether this level of confidence is enough to keep away the havoc from Mother Nature once the heavens open. Only time will tell. For KTN News in Kigali, Rwanda, I'm Eugene Anangwe reporting.